When using the disc sander, always make sure it's attached to a dust collection system. Never go more than halfway along the belt. Keep your fingers and loose clothing far away from the sanding area because you don't want anything to get caught or anything that can be picked up and thrown. And I've always found it a good practice, particularly if there are other people in the workshop, once you've finished using the sander and it's been turned off, use the manual brake to stop the wheel. That way it reduces any chance of accidental damage to people, property or jobs. The disc sand is almost maintenance free, but always remember to keep an eye on your leads to make sure the pins are straight and that the insulation hasn't been cut, burnt or is coming away from the lead itself. Before using the machine, always make sure the locking nuts are tight and the table is secure and at the right angle that you want. Keep the work table clean. Make sure that there's not a build-up of sawdust or bits of timber caught between the wheel and the table or down in the collection port under here. If that's the case, clean it out with a vacuum cleaner or a soft brush. The disc sander is fitted with rubber feet. So when you're using it, make sure it's on a flat, stable surface and it's secure. Otherwise, you can take those feet off and bolt it to a bench top. But once again, make sure it's solid, flat and secure when you're doing work on it. And that concludes the introductory video of the SD-B300H disc sander from Carbotech. I'm Steve Hay. Bye for now.